Today, I'm gonna be doing my first ever commission. It's for a family member and it's an original character, but it's so different from anything that I make. My artwork is generally cute with pretty colors and this OC is kind of scary, but I thought we could go on this journey together. I already sketchbook so that I can show you what we're doing. This is the character that I'll be painting in my own style, but considering how much is going on and how long each of the bodies are, I think we're gonna do it a lot smaller. There's also a little bit of background on each of the characters. They're a 29 year old male called Levi. Green eyes, black hair with a white strand, Caucasian with lots of tattoos, but they're all kind of on the back and the arms so that won't affect what we're doing. The only face we've got is this. So I'm gonna need to find some references just for a little bit more detail to make sure it's accurate. And the second character doesn't really have a face. So that one's gonna be a lot easier to do, I think. I think where we need to begin is drawing each of the characters separately. Then I wanna work on different poses to decide if we're gonna be doing a portrait or a landscape. Then after that, we wanna create some thumbnails and play around a little bit with watercolors. Try and figure out what the color palette is, but the background can be whatever we like. I'm using the Canson Mixed Media Pad because I just kinda wanna finish it. Let's get sketching. So this is Levi, he has an interesting haircut, so the eyes, and then yeah, so the lips are kind of here, it's a very slim face, and it looks like we've got a little bit of a shaved head, I'm gonna add a tiny bit of shading. Maybe some really tiny eyelashes. Now we need to work on the second character, which I believe is kind of like an alter ego of the first. So it's a very round face. It's kind of like completely covered in bandages. I mean, kind of like an egg, really. <laughs> and then there'll be bandages over the entire thing, but this bit will be exposed. Just gonna do some really loose layouts. And I think if I do them in a box, then we can add a bit of watercolor over the top. Yeah, maybe we'll do six. Decide which one we wanna do, and then sketch it out onto Archie's paper. Oh, actually, I've just realized all these boxes are portrait. So that's following the original reference. Another one I thought of was kind of back to back. I would like the faces to be close so that I can get all the detail that I'd like in. I'm gonna grab my watercolors and we'll color these in and then pick which one we like best. I've got my watercolors out. I'm sticking to my main palette because this is what I'm gonna be using for the commission. It's only really the background that's gonna change, I think. We could do slightly different variants for the clothes, but I think they're all gonna be quite similar color palettes, really. Really quickly, just gonna pop some color down. I'm not thinking too much about it. The other character is kind of bandages, so we'll try a few different variants of it. Maybe a little bit more yellow and a little bit more orange. And then the inside of the second character's face is kind of like red or purple. And the ones where the jacket is shown, it's kind of like an orange. As for the background, I think we're going to try lots of different varieties. We want some light and some dark. We've also got the tentacles, which we need to get in. Luckily, I do have some really lovely reds, so I think one of them will work. Maybe a yellow on this one could look good. Yeah, I'm gonna pop it online and see what other people think. I'll pop it on TikTok and Instagram. I really like the blue in this one and I really like the mint green. And I'm not sure about the character. That will have to be their decision to decide which one looks more like the character that they want. I quite like the browns, but I know that the character has kind of black hair, so it'll probably be one of these. So we could like this background with like these tentacles and these clothes. So it's good to just sort of do it like this, I feel. I will see you when we get painting. I was pretty nervous going into this commission. I mean, the characters are very different to those that I create, as you saw. And this commission is for someone that I know, which has its pros and cons. I'm probably being a little bit harder on myself because I know them, but I'm also pretty aware that they are probably gonna be far happier with whatever I create than someone that I actually don't know. Like, they probably won't even notice any mistakes. As I said, 
had pros and cons. The chosen thumbnail was the last one that we made where both characters are facing each other. And funnily enough, when I posted it to social media, like every single thumbnail was picked by someone. There was no clear winner, but the two front runners were not the one that's actually been chosen to be painted. Honestly, I think there's a little bit of bias there. The top two were the best sketches with the most human faces with actual anatomy. It's hard to judge composition sketches by ignoring the quality of the actual sketch. I struggle myself sometimes, and honestly, the face that's been chosen barely resembles a human face. When it comes to the colour palette, well, that's all over the place. They've chosen one colour from each of the six sketches, so I have no clue how this is going to go or if it's going to look any good. I mean, the colours were selected because they're nice and closer to the original character's design, but that doesn't mean that they'll go together when we actually put them together. Whenever I paint portraits, I always like to start with the background first. Back in school when I was a child, I was actually taught to start with the background and then move slowly towards the front. Since then, I've discovered that it really doesn't matter. Everyone does what they like and it's generally 50-50 whether people will start with the back or the front, but I think it's still ingrained in me. When it comes to watercolour, if you accidentally put paint in the wrong place, you need to either remove it or cover it. In the past, when I've painted the face first, I accidentally got some of the background colour on the face and it was really, really difficult to try and disguise. At least if you get some of the skin tone on the background, you might be able to just cover it with more hair. And I mean, the focal point is always the face in portraits, so it's just not as obvious if the mistake is elsewhere. This background is bright, it's bold. Red and blue always go well together. And this one ends up up even more bright and colourful, but I think it works. The red is Cadmium Red by Jackson's Art. I had a very cheap vermilion back in the day and I hated it so much that I thought I hated every single kind of warm red, so I only really stuck to pink and cool reds. But this red, this red is gorgeous. I also have Pyrrol Red. You might have actually seen me create this palette that I'm explaining. If you haven't, the video is down below. It makes a lot more sense than me trying to explain this palette. All my favourite paints are in there to the point where I actually added extra little pans and super glued them down just to make sure I had every single paint I like in one place. I'm also using ultramarine and indigo to make up the blue. There is one thing I like to do to make my pieces cohesive. Whichever colours I use for the background, I'll always try and sneak them into the rest of the painting somehow. The background here is red and blue and blues work well for shadow and the red works well for blue so it's super simple in this case. The bandaged person is a little trickier. They don't really have a skin tone, blush or shadows, and this particular character doesn't really have a face. Like there's no nose, lips, eyes or anything. It's not the silhouette of a face and the face actually curves in, so I don't know where the light is gonna hit this concaved face. Luckily the person that created them doesn't either, so we're just gonna go ahead and imagine what may or may not be possible in this case. They opted for bluish hair instead of dark brown, which honestly kind of goes perfectly with the background, especially with the red on the other character. We're creating a very cohesive piece, and it's not even intended to be a limited colour palette really, it just happened that way. I must apologise for the sun, I don't know what it was thinking this day, but it's going crazy. It's always difficult to film on sunny days where it's also really cloudy. The best situation for me is when it's really bright non-stop clouds, which we do get a lot in Britain, but when the sun comes and goes, it doesn't look very good on camera, so thank you for bearing with me. I think I may have made the character a little bit too cute. It definitely looks like my art style, which is great. That's something I've been working on for years, really. You might have heard me talk about it just one or two times. I'm 
really happy with how this painting has turned out though and it was amazing seeing their face light up when I passed the painting over. I hope you've enjoyed seeing me work on my first commission and it's for someone else's original character. Would you have chosen this composition and this colour palette? I would love to know down below. Enjoy what's left of your day and I'll see you in a few days time. Bye bye!